Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 here. Um, this is now going to be the second part to the three-part series of Avid Effects. There's a lot to learn about effects, and that's why you should go back to the first one if you had happened to stop by and watch this one, because the first one really gets you started and uh, gives you a basic understanding of the differences between things like horizontal and vertical effects, and last time we especially went over stuff in the effect palette as uh, applying effects and the transi transition effects as well as the corner display tool and of course segment effects and also we're going to be getting into parameters this time around. But not just specifically parameters. We're going to also be talking about navigating by timecode when you're in effects mode. And also we're going to give the definition and show you how to work a little bit using keyframes. I'm sure you've probably heard of those before. They're very handy little little plots that you can put your own type of specifications on. And we're also going to just, you know, look at the grid and find out what that can do for you and overall we're just going over some common effect parameters that are pretty useful in your everyday effects editing and you should probably know them before you start working because there's a couple rules about all of them and uh, you might need to know them so if you haven't seen any of my uh, previous tutorials then um, let me just tell you that I start them all out by saying I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user but that doesn't mean I'm a certified user uh, I mean, yes it does it doesn't mean I'm a certified instructor in either of those programs because I'm not I'm just putting these videos up for your guys benefit